welcome back and I am back in Decatur, Indiana. Um, promised you uh, an update and I do apologize I did run out of time in Springfield um, as far as doing an update um, or doing any sort of tour. Uh, I do have to go back in a couple of months so maybe I'll have a chance to do something at that time. Um, but another CPAP video uh, and this is kind of maybe going to be the last one unless something comes up along the way um, now that I'm all set up. Uh, but I had my meeting with uh, Prime's sleep study people. It's called Cardinal uh, Sleep. And I had my uh, meeting with Trinity Health, which is Prime's in-house uh, physician group. <clears throat> um, and I am set up on currently an extension, a two-month extension, on my DOT uh, physical, uh, my DOT medical card, and I guess my recap on that, I'm going to have to go back, and that's why I have to go back to Springfield in two months. You are not required as a prime driver to get your physical done in Springfield. Let's start out with that. So, if you are a prime driver, don't think, hey, every year, every two years, every three months, whatever your card is good for. Um, I happen to have a one-year card um, for um, another reason. Uh, and when I had my physical done last year, my physical was done. Prime allows you to get your physical done at, um, unfortunately, it's not any DOT medical doctor. That would be nice. But at um, any Concentra Health is the name of the company. So you can go to any Concentra Health. And one of the things that's really great about Concentra Health, a lot of their facilities have truck parking. So the nearest one to Decatur is in Indianapolis. They actually have two in Indy. Um, and so when I went a year ago, I got a load going down to Indianapolis, uh, delivered my load, went to Concentra, got my physical done, drove back to Decatur. So there was very little disruption to my life as far as getting a DOT physical done. Um, would be fantastic if they had one in Fort Wayne, which is just up the road from Decatur, or if they had one physically in Decatur, but it is what it is. At any rate, onto the CPAP stuff. Basically, I think the uh, upshot of all of what I found out is if you're an existing driver, or if you're maybe coming to Prime and you're already on a CPAP. I think that's the that's the angle that I'm uh, I've got perspective on. If you come to Prime and you're diagnosed during your DOT physical as having to have a sleep study, they've got that process so streamlined that there's very little disruption, um, you know, to your life. They've got the CPAP machines, and and we can, you know, obviously um, have a discussion about cost and all that and whether or not your you know your insurance doesn't cover it and that's the big argument that I know a lot of folks have that's the reason that I went through my personal insurance so I, I went to my doctor he referred me to a sleep specialist they ordered a sleep study I got my machine and all of that taken care of on my own insurance partially because I didn't want to go through the prime way um, where I would not have been allowed to use my insurance so that's my understanding the upshot at this point was I had to go to Springfield because the CPAP machine that I'm on reports back, and all CPAP machines do this, they report back to your doctor so they can monitor that you're using the machine because the machine is not useful, uh, doesn't, doesn't help anybody if you're not using the thing. Um, and your insurance won't actually cover the, there's... Um, replacement parts. There's the hoses are, um, I forget what they call it. Uh, and anyway, they're durable goods. They're, they're items that get thrown away, expendable things. Um, the mask itself needs to be thrown away. Um, the container for the water gets, needs to get thrown away. There's filters need to get thrown away. They need to be replaced at periodic intervals. And if you're not actually using the machine, your insurance is not going to cover those um, those parts. So the machine reports back your usage to your doctor, and as long as you're continuing to use the machine, your insurance will pay for that stuff. Now Prime, on the other hand, wants to monitor your usage as well, 
because they want to make sure that you're DOT compliant. And DOT says you have to use the machine four hours a day, 70% of the time. That is the DOT. If you're on a sleep machine, a CPAP machine, you have to use it four hours a day, 70% of the time to have your card be in good standing. And to get your card renewed, you have to have done that for 30 days. You have to have a 30 day history to get your medical card. So this is where I ran into problems. I was trying to do the right thing, I think is the bottom line. Um, I want to say I went in August to get my initial referral to the sleep doctor. And my card didn't expire until December. Well, you know how the medical system works. Tough to get appointments. Bottom line is it wasn't until mid to late November that I finally got set up on my CPAP machine. And was going to be really close to the 30 days before my DOT physical expired. And Prime had no way to monitor since it was reporting to the doctor instead of reporting to Prime. So that's why I needed to go to Springfield. I needed to get, number one, an extension on my medical card, which is why I saw Trinity Health and got my extension right here. So got that taken care of. And Trinity Health then needed me to fill out paperwork so that they could monitor and they also needed to talk to my doctor so that they could get a fax once a week to monitor the compliance. Hindsight being 2020, I'm not sure how if I would have done it differently um, because I wanted to not have to go through Prime. I wanted my insurance to take care of it. Um, if you don't have insurance and you're going to have to pay out the initial cost of the machine on your own, maybe you, maybe you have a different thought of how you would do it, but. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure at this point. So far, the machine works. I've used it every night. Um, it is a bit of a pain in the behind because this is where going home is not really that great because I do have to take it out, set it up, unpack it, repack it, clean it, put it in a bag, bring it to the truck in case I... A lot of times when I spend the night in the truck, I don't know that I'm spending the night in the truck until I'm maybe done with or unloading. Like today, I know I'm not spending the night in the truck because I already know my next load, today is a Friday, it's a holiday weekend, I already know my next load is on Sunday. So I know I'm not spending the night in the truck tonight. But on Sunday, I think there's a chance that I might spend the night in the truck. I'm not sure about that, and I probably won't know for sure until... I get to my delivery point and I'll be told you need to go to Bellevue, which is where I suspect I might get sent for a load on Monday. But that's frequently how it works is I don't know um, until later on where I'm going the next day until later in the day. I think I've explained that. So the CPAP machine is a bit of a pain because I just have to bring it in case I get to spend the night in the truck. So there you go. Um, it's been an adventure. It's been interesting. I've learned a lot. Um, I'm not sure, like I said, I, I'm not sure that I would have done anything differently. Um, but I learned that it's probably not the way that Prime would have preferred me to get my CPAP machine set up. So uh, learning experience at, at any rate, I've got it set up now. I do have to go back to Springfield in... Um, the middle of January. So, um, and I think we're going to drive out there as a family in our car instead of taking the truck and taking a load out there. So, um, be interesting to get uh, the family's perspective and maybe we'll do something, uh, video wise at that time. I do want to note, uh, happy holidays. I know I've put a couple of videos up since Thanksgiving. Um, but this one's probably going to be close to the middle of December or so. I will be taking a break around uh, Christmas. In fact, um, I might as well just go ahead and say it right now. This will be the final video before the holidays. Uh, I'm going to take some time. Obviously it's, it's the holiday season. Things are hectic. Um, not only work-wise, family-wise, all that stuff as well. So, uh, thanks for watching throughout 2016, which I've done a ton of videos this year, way more than I would have ever expected. It's 
uh, over 1,500 subscribers. Thank you so much to everybody for subscribing. Thanks for continuing to watch. If you're thinking about coming to Prime, as I was doing this time two years ago, again, click on the link in the description. That'll take you right to the application page. And if you have any questions, of course, ask in the uh, comments below. Send me a message here through uh, YouTube as well. Thanks for watching. Happy holidays. And we'll talk to you in 2017. Thanks a lot. See you later, guys.